What's up, everybody? It's your boy Melvin here for another classic review, and today I'm reviewing another episode from Tales from the Crypt. An episode I like to call Television Terror. And on July 17th of 1990, and this was episode 16 of season 2. Which. I'll review the title card. A TV shock journalist gives an on-air tour of an eerie haunted house. Tune in if you dare. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> Damn allergies. But yeah. Before we begin, did you subscribe? Did you hit the bell? If so. So, don't, don't forget to turn off your video. If so, you'll miss what's going to happen next on this very fame episode of my thoughts on blank. But of course, Television Terror, I seen the comic. Actually, it's from volume. I think it's volume 2 or volume 2 of Haunt of Fear. No, Vault of Horror. Damn. I can't even review an episode while I'm my notes seen stuffing. Hold it. Sorry. I hate when these allergies start to get in my way. But yeah. Television Terror has to be a good episode for me for season 2 because it explains something from the supernatural, of course. <laughs> a coming up is a sleazy slime ball named Horton Rivers, played by... Dowie Jr., not the one, not Iron Man, another one. If you don't recognize the face, if you remember my last review of Revenge of the Nerds 3, yeah, it's this guy, Morton Downey Jr. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, let's continue with the episode. So we meet Horn Rivers, who's the host of his... One of his shows, which is, of course, called Horton Rivers Live. Of course. He's in front of the house to explain the story of the house belonging to Ada Ritters, who's a caretaker who murdered her... her... Well, her... What do you call people who live in for rent? Those guys? I can't remember the name. Who will kill them. To collect their social security checks. But when the police arrived... She committed suicide, so... Years later... And the police line's still up. Then when Horton grabs some scissors... Cuts the, ta the line... It smiles like a doof. Literally. Of course. We see the commercial. Then we, we meet Sam. Who's... He's sleeping with her. Which, of course... He sees her. She sees him as a... Disgusting waste of human flesh. Because of the... Top, he likes to push people's buns to the far. As in, literally... <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. Of course, that's when he goes out. He requests a psychic, which of course he gets a psychic name, Roland Warshafter. Which of course he describes him as a mortician than a psychic. Which of course, when he asks him, Are we in danger? He said, You're in danger when you first cross, hold the threshold. Which of course he ignores it. They enter the house. Him and his cameraman. While the rest, Sam and the other ones, watching in the the camera truck. Gotta like it because they go to different rooms like they start showing flashbacks like one they go to the basement and we see Ada pushing one of her patients down the stairs. Which is where she buried them. Then we have Another one where, in a bathroom, 
That's when Horton sees a dead person in the bathtub, which, of course, the camera doesn't see nothing. Which, damn. There's a lot of good effects here. I think the funny one was he goes to the kitchen describing Ada cooking for his victims, aka making poison for them. That's when a rat appears, and he f jump. He frequently jump scared by a rat. Which, of course, he tried to play cool, but the others think it's funny. Hold it. <coughs> Sorry. Ugh. Damn allergies. As the critic will say, the review must go on. Hold it. <laughs> oh boy. Soon, that's when he starts to hear strange noise like dragon sounds, and also. Sorry. <laughs> Get back. <sighs> I hate my allergies. But yeah. That's when strange things start to happen, paranormal things like the room start to shaking, the walls start to break, even the door starts to crack and blood comes out. Which of course the 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 back in the camera van the review they keep receiving views from the producer and saying the 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 views are going up and they keep going, keep going, which of course horror doesn't know what's going on. Of course Things from take from about the worst as Horton is looking around. That's why he knows. That's why the people in the van knows there's a body hanging. Is it's the cameraman and saying, "Wait, Horton, who's holding the camera?" And guess who it is? The ghost of one of the victims. Which of course Horton freaks out. He starts run, trying to run down the stairs, but no, they're a ghost. And here's the thing: the camera's still rolling, but it's not following him. It's laying on the ground sideways, and then and they see him falling down and say, "Ah, get me out of there! Get me out of there!" Of course, Sam doesn't want to do it because she told she was he to have the killer instinct that he told her. So yeah, told it. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> Damn allergies. Of course, he enters the bedroom and guess who's there? Adam Ritters with a chainsaw. And boy, you can still hear him screaming through that door. Of course, Ada slides himself with the chainsaw. He starts to go, gets tied up with the bed sheets. As Ada starts slashing with the chainsaw, he fell through the window of a second story wind of the house. Hanged and bloodied. And that's when everyone was shocked to see that. That's when they had to cut the life fee. As Sam walks out, she sees Sam's bloody body hanging out the second window. Then we get a well. She stares at that. We we get a glimpse of his face on his truck. Well, he's mentioning one of the episodes of Horton Rivers Live. Of course, I forgot to mention the pro the the gig the gags of each story. Like when we have the crypt keeper. Yeah, oh boy. Huh. Excuse me. Why do we have the crypt keeper mentioning? Hi, mom. I just love home videos, don't you? Especially. When the home is haunted. Tonight's twisted tale, my dear couch potatoes, is filed under T for television. Or should it that be terror? Mr. Horton Rivers is about to find out. To stay tuned to this totally titillating tube. And the closing segment. Oh, that Horton. He's a real swinger. He hangs out. In all the right places. No wonder he's such a hit. On live or is it dead TV? 
Which, yeah, that was Television Terror. And damn. I like to come up with because he's like a slime ball. I think he's just, oh, I gotta fix this. Nope. You got hacked by actual ghosts. So, yeah. Rest in hell. <laughs> but, yeah. Let me know what you think of this episode. Did you like it? Because there's a few people that review this episode think it's better, which I might agree with. And sorry about the allergies because, damn, I don't know why. Uh, this is why. <coughs> sorry. This is, but, yeah. The review must go on, as the critic would say. Damn. Allergies or no allergies? At least have the cojones to keep doing the review while with a stuffy nose. I think you all know that. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think of the episode. Did you like it? Did you see the episode from the if you own the collection or on YouTube? Because very you can actually Google YouTube, put television television terror, and boom, it's right there. Full episode. Oh yeah. And remember to subscribe, hit the bell, like this video if you're new to the channel, and comment on comment down below and tell me what was your favorite scene. Me, I just like the the segment where he gets just scared by a rat. It's a rat. <laughs> Which one is it? Hey, that's his family. <laughs> but yeah, until then, have a great day, everybody. See ya.